I just want to make that clear. Um, so TLDR, <laughs> the best Linux gaming distro you can have is Mac OS. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly Show to cover the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with this week is absolutely no exception because NVIDIA has definitely pulled a sneaky. And uh, Unity is trying to make an open source game and something about AMD being 25% or something. I don't know. It's terrifying. I'm a bit confused. Hi, I'm old confused man Vin. Join every week by our tame Canadian podcaster. Up in uh, where, where are we at? Saskatchewan? Or... <laughs> uh, I, I'm in Mozambique. Mozambique. All right, that's the best Zambique to be in. And uh, across the pond on the island of Britannia, near the Isle of Man, baby. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a ways off, to be fair. But yes, hello. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right now he's on the Isle of Boy. Well. <laughs> He, he's going to grow up and eventually graduate to the island. I man. will hit puberty one of these days. Pedro Monteus, <laughs> together with you at home, Shad Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Before we get started, we like to play that little game of like, hey man, what you been up to? Actually, one thing we were up to this week is there's a new episode of uh, Trine again. Again. Power Trine 4000 has returned. Um, Trine 4, keeping that Patreon pledge. That's actually uh, up and posted on Patreon if you want to go take a look at it. And we finished, like, legitimately, we finished uh, Left 4 Brat. Like, for real. Yes. Yeah. Un <laughs> until, until they released a new set of community levels, at which point. Yeah. <laughs> nah. yeah. I, we kind of we <laughs> shot ourselves in the foot with that one, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um, I haven't been up too much, man. Um, got a new interface, a new old interface. Not one I, I, I kind of hate bought it because I couldn't get a hold of the Apugi that I wanted, but it was like $200 less than I'd ever seen one before. And I'm like, well, we need to test it. So I've been working on that. Updated some stuff on our web zone, linuxgamecast.com, bumped PHP version. Finally rolled out a new thing Cloudflare has. I think it's publicly available now. It's the, uh, automatic page, uh, optimization we're effectively hosted everything's in the cloud which i heard is made of linuxes which is good and uh yeah that's about it that's all i'm up to just boring computer stuff jordan oh yeah what? um <laughs> my, my, my 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 dryer just went off uh pedro i'm gonna toss this to you so i can shut that thing off all right okay uh well uh on my end i got a um a thing <laughs> it's a uh, usb powered solar garen because i guess i might as well learn how to do this at some point pedro so. pedro do me a favor and say soldering iron again soldering okay yeah, wait one more time just a little slower soldering can can, can, can you can you say that soldier was made out of solder possibly i don't know it's got an l in it i'm inclined to pronounce <laughs> it so <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, it's just 8 watts, I think. Uh, it needs something like a 1.6 amp output uh, USB power supply. And yeah, I also got the um, sucky, sucky uh, desoldering tip, which is nice. So, I don't know. I'm still waiting for the uh, training, like, little training kits to arrive because they're on the slow boat from China. Thanks, eBay. So that might take a while. <laughs> learning and stuff I don't know. yeah <laughs> melting fingers make sure make sure that you're smelling like hot dog when you're when you're soldering <laughs> mm, roast i don't know yeah. do, do you want to get a, a jordan yeah uh so I'm, I'm i'm just bruised up yeah moving rocks around <laughs> apparently is not good for the skin uh, found that out. My favorite thing is like somehow that video. So Jordan was out moving rocks with his friend as one does. They're like, hey man, look uh, at those rocks yeah. over there. You know what? <laughs> they need moving. And lo and behold, they turn around and look up and across They're the street behind a fence was somebody recording them. And I can only hope like you at home. 
hope of hopes that it turns into just a random viral video. Oh yeah, I know mm-hmm. some rock rock fails or something. That's how, that's how I get internet famous. Not any of this shit, mm-hmm. right? No, like <laughs> I fucking dropped a rock on my head, and everyone's just like, "Ha! Look at that fucking idiot." Um, hey, take take what you can get, right? All right. Exa- hey, any any fame is better than no fame. There's no such thing as bad publicity. There you go. We definitely Man. rock harder than our horse, though. Yeah, the horse is uh, kind of stone dead. I mean, it's been that way for four years. It's the Steam Linux update. Sale. Yeah. Uh, yep. So we 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 got we got the dates now. Um, so, uh, Steam sales are coming out um, October 29th to November second, November 25th to December first, and December 22nd to January fifth. So the Halloween sale is basically a day after my birthday, so if you want to buy me some games, then then's a good time to do it, I guess. I, got, I guess I got to fill out my wish list on Steam. Mm. I don't. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk about that in the next couple stories. Where are you like, sitting in the yeah. wish list? I think I have like four <laughs> items on there, and like two of them, two two of the games haven't even come out. I got I got one at the moment. No, I got two because I put Borderlands three on the wish list. Oh. Well, I, I guess I think that I have like makes ninety sense. something games on my wish list. <laughs> Well, like, that's the thing. If if I want if I want a game, I'll just buy it. <laughs> this, right, is, like, this is what, really what I'm getting to. Also, Pedro, like if you have 90 games on your wish list, 88. If I if I see that, I don't even fucking bother with it. I, I look at that. I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not going to get to anything. It's too much work. Too, I don't know what you really reading, want. Yeah. Right now, it, one of the things I will the, uh... say is, um, so many sales. I don't pay attention to them anymore. And I, I was having to think about that on the drive home today. Now, is it really because, uh, like 11 D sales a year from steam to there's like, you know, we've definitely talked about it on the show. It's like, well, they're not really even special anymore. Or is it kind of like, um, what Jordan was hinting at, you know, I, I am not a broke teenager or like a struggling kid in university anymore. If I really want a game, I can pay the iron price for it. I'm like, fine. I'm not going to be happy about it. Um, but I will say this as uh, the game we're doing this week, we're covering with the chairs. We saw that in the after show last week and it was on like, it was really like six good, bucks. Yeah. And I was like, fine. I'll yeah. buy it. Not a problem. Yeah. But like that that's the thing with that's the thing with Steam sales though. Like it's the frequency of them so that they don't really impact anymore and the diminishing returns cuz like once you buy a game when it's on sale, it's not like you're going to buy it when it goes cheaper. It's not like they're going to refund you the money. It's already spent. Mm. And I mean if if you if you subscribe to Heretic purchases, the number of available games you can buy on sale is drastically lowering year after year if you're buying Linux games yeah. regularly. <laughs> and uh I I mean, it's a Steam sale, right? That's if you're going to buy a game, probably better off waiting, even if it's like 20% off on the brand new game that just came out. That's if it even goes on sale. But yeah, no, that that's when you buy games. Well, and only then. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, like you, 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 br- you bring that up, and um, what, what, what's funny is we, we've we've learned this as Linux gamers. Like, don't buy the game when it comes out. Wait until like the Turbo Fuck You edition with all the DLC comes out, because then yep. then Feral's <laughs> gonna port that, right? Yeah. So unless you really can't, you know, you have that FOMO going all the time, and you really gotta play it while the hype is still going. Mm. I'm sorry for oh, you. Oh, yes. The then you do that. Then they add EAC and you can't play it anymore. And you're like, oh. No, 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 you need to sign up for an Epic account. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> what is this, Jordan? I, I figured this would be right down your no-no hole. Uh, Steam Digital Tabletop Fest? Is that something we get to play? I mean, kind of, yeah. Uh, there are a bunch of... So th- this, this is more... There's a lot of board games on Steam, like digital versions of like board games. Uh, a lot of them are available on Linux. Um, Auroc Digital, the people who are running this Steam Tabletop Festival, actually have a uh, Linux board game uh, available right now. It's uh, Chainsaw Warrior, and it's a DLC. They also have a version of Ogre that needs a Linux port, because then I can actually make Steve play it. And mm. that's what I want. But yeah, uh, so they're, they're, they're giving a lot of talks on tabletop design. Um, they're, they have uh, people talking about uh, Plague Inc. and Other Side, Gloomhaven. Um, and they have uh, Sandy Peterson giving a talk. Sandy Peterson was one of the principal designers of the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. Also did a lot of principal design for Doom. Doom and Quake. Oh, okay. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, so it would be uh, it seems like an interesting uh, it seems like an interesting set of panels. If you're into like board game design or tabletop game design, this might be for you. And there's lots of like tabletop simulator exists on Steam if you really want to like have over complicated overwrought tabletops for role playing games. But like there's still you can still play a lot of board games on under Linux right now. So yeah. It's, yep. good to, it's good to see that that side of this the 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 uh, landscape is getting highlighted. I've never played um with a tabletop simulator, but that seems like that's just wide open for all types of options and stuff like. This. Oh yeah, like if, if if you look at the Steam Workshop, there like they got fucking everything. Mm. Yep, it's, it I, it is effectively a tabletop sandbox. Yes. Just I, create I still the wanna, bits. There you go. <laughs> I, 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 Pedro, you and I still got to like sit down and like figure out how to play a Dark Souls board game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which has which has a modular and tabletop simulator. It does. So like, there has yeah. to be a version of Monopoly. With there, Dark Souls. It does. Dark, Dark Souls Monopoly. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and, instead of you're broke, you died. <laughs> you can roll a bonfire, and you know. Do do not pass Go bonfire. Do not collect. Yeah. Do not collect two hundred souls. Exa exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we got some digits for um, last month, right? And, you know, the Steam hardware and software survey and a couple of interesting things in this. The one I saw that was very interesting is talk about climbing back out of a hole, the processor vendor. Now, for AMD and Intel, AMD's always been low digits, but man, September 25.75%. They, they've come along way since bulldozer man um that's really no surprise with amd because they've been laser focused on the enthusiast market a uh, couple of things i did see is uh 33 on linux uh with the users because we like ourselves an underdog don't we isn't <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's kind of hard to you know not root for the underdog when we're using linux on the desktop I don't, I don't. I don't know. I just like a twenty. I like my twelve core, twenty four thread CPU that I didn't have to pay a thousand dollars for. Yeah, yeah. Th that's a big advantage too. Yeah, no, the eight core, sixteen thread CPU that I paid three hundred pounds for. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's pretty neat, man. Um, Intel's three point seven. Yeah, that, that's just wild. But a couple of their interesting metrics. My favorite one being turns out one hundred percent of the users uh, on Steam have an unspecified network speed. Because that does precisely nothing, Valve, seriously. Why is that even in there? Yeah, no, and uh, it the top speed that they had at the time capped out at like 10 megabit. So at this point, there's a lot of people with more than 10 megabit. Admittedly, there's a lot All of people right. with less, but uh, yeah, the, there's a lot of people with more than 10 nowadays, and I don't think that question even shows up on the Steam survey, um, but the things that stuck out to me were, um, you know, while on Windows, uh, the uh, most popular video card is a 1060, by a significant margin, that's like 10% of everyone that the Steam survey is uh, polling has a 1060. On Linux, on the other hand, uh, things are a bit different. Again, going for the underdog, the most popular video card is the RX 480 at 7.62%. But uh, of the... course it is. It's like dirt cheap. Eh. <laughs> Don't make that noise uh... when I'm talking about dirt cheap cards. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I mean yeah like they're still they're still selling RX 580s for like over over they're still making them. twenty that's the thing <laughs> that's tr that's true well Apple keeps ordering them that's for one they keep yeah. shipping that they keep shipping those in Mac Pros because that's the I was about to say you got to put something want. in your fifteen thousand dollar Mac Pro um, yeah. and the other thing I noticed was uh, if you go to Linux only and you open the Linux version thing you see that uh, Linux Mint is no longer in fourth place no 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 now you have Pop. Pop OS is uh, Pupus. 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 Uh, it's uh, five seventy two percent is now Pop OS with Linux Mint uh, coming down to uh, five sixty one percent. So there you go. <laughs> I think the only metric that made me step back for a second was I was looking at the overall ownership of VR, and I think it was almost a full percent. Which that's a lot of people. It it is well, especially now that like. Um, 
the headsets have come down in price substantially. It's mm-hmm. not. It's like not the as, Oculus Quest is pretty cheap, and well, that well, one still doesn't require you to log into Facebook. Yeah, and and <laughs> also, also also like, uh, like it's real. It's really easy to get like a GPU now that can push VR and like, um, like. Like Ryzen CPUs, dirt cheap. You can pick up an eight core, uh, sixteen thread, and run VR games no problem. Now it's not like it's not like you yep. needed to pay like several thousand dollars for a system that's capable of doing VR now. So that that's the other yeah. Thing. Even a twenty seven hundred or twenty seven hundred X nowadays is less than a uh, hundred and sixty pounds. Well, I so mean, yeah, you got to no, look at pretty good. You know, <laughs> uh, fortunately, uh, I was able to get a GPU with the VR port on it. NVIDIA mm-hmm. and Valve. Good thing I got that. Yeah, that was, that was, that was useful. <laughs> well, it's, it's driving a USB 3 monitor now, right? Oh, uh, Ben, it's out of spite. I've just left it alone. I'm like, you know what? You're the spare USB-C board now. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's my feels for it, 100%. So we talked about there was a little, uh, you know, we mentioned the cheating problem with CSGO. Yes. and. We're talking like why aren't we, why is Valve not doing a uh, virtual um, gaming events? Yeah, like uh, the big competitions, like the international for Dota and all the other ones for um, Counter Strike Global Offensive. Well, as it turns out, people were cheating at the arena, and like we talked about a while back, uh, there were originally um, I think it was seven of the coaches. Uh, Thirty-seven. Or, no, it was. And that's right now. Uh, originally, it was like seven of them that were going to get banned. But right now, uh, after several investigations, uh, the Esports Integrity Commission has announced that 37 coaches are going to be banned uh, from like four months to 36 months uh, because they were abusing that spectator bug. That Brazil we represent. About. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's... <laughs> Let's not start so, stereotyping just yet. Uh, <laughs> so, 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 I, I got a question though. Out of all of these, uh, chat, chat realm, you can vote you. Who has the dumbest screen name? Oh, uh, furry. <laughs> oh no, that's fury. Never mind. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> right? It's 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 not a, it's not an easy question. Oh, there's Peta, <laughs> like pain in uh, the ass. <laughs> or or how about Lurid? Sterix? Oh, 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 wait, they got pictures. Oh, oh, oh. there's pictures. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to Linux Hot or Not Cast. Right? Uh, <laughs> fuck, Mary kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, we, so far, they're good. all pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's but yeah, the, no, no wonder yeah. Valve doesn't want to do, like, you know, people playing from home if people are cheating this much at events what do you think's gonna happen <laughs> this <laughs> yeah uh, more of that <laughs> well it's been going on since like 2015 man and i think this is one of those things is what do you think jordan is like uh what was his name lance armstrong right the uh Tour de France. Cyclist? yeah yep. his argument was just like Everyone was taking the drugs, man. The only way you could compete was by taking the drugs. Is this one of those arguments of like everyone else was cheating? That was the only way to even get on the level playing field. It didn't give me an advantage. It just yeah. I I mean I don't I don't know I don't know the 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 the, the sports analogy is pretty apt because like yeah if, 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 look look at look at all like the top competitors in something like strength sports they're all on PEDs unless unless like the league is specifically about like testing and like has very has very like stringent rules about that but even then they're testing for the drugs they know about mm-hmm. um and it's 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 the same thing here like these exploits are kept as quiet as possible so that people can abuse them as much as possible and in a hyper competitive environment especially one with really low margins like esports mm-hmm. yeah you 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 want to be able to like squeeze every bit of adventure so it makes sense why they were doing it does it excuse they're doing it no but yeah, I, I, yeah I, I no, can, especially I, at a competitive event that there's money involved. It's like <laughs> you're straight up cheating people out of money. Didn't, uh, 
<laughs> right. It, and it, it, I mean, the other people cheating is immaterial because they all suck too for cheating. Uh, it do, it doesn't excuse anything else. But I, I, again, may, this this is what this is why I'm of the. I, I agree with John Witherspoon. We need to have like the league where like everyone's running like aimbots, or we need to run like the the, the Olympic games where everyone is just roided the fuck out just so we can just so we can have <laughs> yeah. that competition. Just let and them then, have that esports <laughs> racing. Anything else? We need an unlimited class, right? Or just like fucking do whatever, <laughs> do whatever goes. you can. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, <laughs> Last and anything goes. human standing. It doesn't have to be uh, human, man. I mean, just right? Uh, like you, like you, 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 you can. You, if if it'll get you the win, you can unplug your mouths, stand up, grop the other player, kill uh, him, and then plug your mouth back <laughs> full in. Full contact, <laughs> CS:GO. Um, yeah, it's exactly. It's like, it's like, yeah, we're, <laughs> throw a mace at him. Like hey. Valve, call us. <laughs> right. Team Fortress 2. Uh, first update yeah. in a long time. Yeah, it looks like all the all the games are getting updates from Valve. Uh, but much like the Left 4 Dead update, this is a lot of community stuff. Uh, but mainly, this is the Spooptober update. Uh, so Scream Fortress uh, 7, or that's 11, 12. I can, I can Roman numerals. Numbers. Yeah, they, yeah, they they have uh, they had a, added uh, <laughs> what four new community maps, a bunch of new effects. They reset the Halloween challenges from last year, so if you want to do them again, you can. Um, yeah, like it's I, I guess it's just get people interested for Halloween. What? They have what? some no, that's what two does. <laughs> that, 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 that's so what I write. Team Fortress two, two chairs. <laughs> um, uh, there, there, there's there's a bunch of game balance fixes as you do lots of bug fixes. Uh, they change some of the items and the game balance and whatnot as as you do. If you're if you're a Team Fortress enthusiast, you've read through those notes and you understand what they say. I don't. I read through them and I go, yes, these are words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, one of the things that I noticed is uh, they changed a lot of um, class specific things, and uh, one of the things that I remember. My little brother is a pretty big um, TF2 player, and apparently, if you were playing as the uh, the medic, uh, you'd get a thing called the free ride, which is if you were Come healing, on, say, a scout, you would walk at the same speed as a scout, and the scout is the fastest class. So um, that doesn't. Um, so so it was anymore. haha medic go burr. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, if you had a medic following this guy, it's like, nope, you're not shooting that medic. <laughs> I, I, outside of like when TF2 came to Linux, I was like, hey, it's a game. And, but I, I was burnt out on what it became because I, I put all my hundreds of hours playing um, the original Quake CTF, Quake World. And so on dial up and get the fuck off my lawn. So, but hey, man, I'm glad they updated it. Maybe they will do uh, fix some of their mod problems. And uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that, that's that's going to be an ongoing thing. That's what we should have. We should have like the bot Olympics, roided out bots, <laughs> e competing competing in esports. Uh, how, how do you give the bot steroids? Over <laughs> USB USB syringe. Overclock them. Hey, uh, maybe you'll just be too busy playing Mafia Definitive Edition on Linux because Glorious Egg Roll chimed in. He's like, "All right, fixed it this time. Mafia DE and Mafia Two DE." Should work out of the box. Um, he's got a little special version of uh, Glorious, you know, Proton G. Here's some screenshots. I was like, all right, it's looking good. I'm down with that. What? I have a copy of Mafia. It must have been a bundle. Oh, and it's a DE version. Big ass download, by the way. It was like, it was like 20 or 40 gigs or something. I'm like, all right, I'll check this thing out. Eight shit right to the desktop. So I just uninstalled it. I didn't care enough, really. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just saying, oh, oh, over here, no joy. None. Yeah, no, I tried to like the Mafia games. I did. I, I really never did. I tried them. one. Neither did I. <laughs> I tried two. And the, the driving, and you're asked to do a lot of driving, and the driving is even worse than GTA. That's what I was looking for. I saw that screenshot. I'm like, oh, GTA Dick Tracy. Yeah, that I thought was that like sentence whole... was going to end very differently. Thanks, <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was the whole premise behind Mafia. Was like, oh, it's sort of GTA, but in the olden times. Uh, yeah, no, the driving was horrible. I guess uh, it, uh, I've had people uh, shouting at me in Shut Realm whenever we bring up Mafia because I say that the cars felt like you were trying to drive a brick. 
Um, and That's kind yeah, of what no, cars the, were back then, though. They were made of bricks. Yes, that is the argument that was leveraged at me. But seeing uh, Glorious Egg Roll release that, it's like, okay, all right, there's a new version of Glorious Egg Roll. I'll download it. Say, Valve, um, when are you going to update Proton, actually? What are you waiting for? Quality you assurance. Shut the hell up and quit begging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quality yeah. assurance from Valve? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, to be fair, they do a pretty good job testing the Proton releases. They do, like. Other test subjects. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have a GitHub where everyone does it Pedro, for them. Pedro, Pedro, yeah. Pedro, if you want a new updated <laughs> version of Proton, go into the Betas tab and select Proton Next and shut the hell up. I've already been running that. <laughs> When's that going to come out so I can get the new next? Eventually. Then, pr- pr- Proton next next and then what, next next next. I, I don't know. I want Valve time to like crash through your roof and go like, remember me? <laughs> now, now I'm just imagining like a, like a giant clock that looks like Gabe Newell smashing through Pedro's wall like the fucking Kool-Aid man. It's going to be great. <laughs> Oh yeah! They take time <laughs> with like big, big old, big old Kool Aid nipples too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big old, yeah. don't even bother wasting your time, kids. Uh, let's talk about a couple of new games. Yes, and the first one is Carlet Hollow, and the developer uh, Abby Seven Two Two on Reddit uh, did a bit of an a- an AMA, not, and not not the developer. She is the writer. Um, oh, she's the writer. Okay, uh, yes. and. Um, she uh it's like she was doing an ma and one of the uh questions because it did not end in a question mark was uh portalytics please and she comes back done just like that yeah. <laughs> i don't all know the developers were you know is that, that, is that deer is with. chewing an awful lot of bubble gum yeah no uh, i i actually i actually really like abby's comics uh, i've been reading junior scientist power hour for a while um and she does some like really creepy stuff too um she's a good writer and a good artist so i'm glad to see that a she's releasing games and b they're out on linux so yeah yep it's free to play so go on uh yeah scarlet hollow on steam just download it play yeah. it what <laughs> The, the, the developer it, does, I, I it's something recent. it requires the ever elusive something recent OS yep so get that in mind don't, don't try to use I don't know something blue shh it's don't, me, don't, man. Don't, don't, don't talk to the blue hey it's better than a lot of the graphic novels that's like here's a wall of tech you know that screenshot yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> those text games seriously sometimes i see an interesting like title on the steam new releases oh that could be it inter- never mind this is true <laughs> so what is right. unrailed so you know you know you know that bugs bunny cartoon where they're like trying to put like the track in front of the train oh like laying the track the cl- real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that's 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 basically what this game is right okay. um uh it's a, it's an online it has online multiplayer you try and build the track in front of the train and not derail it i guess um and yeah, uh, it's uh, they have they have a demo out now, uh, so you can download I thought and try that's it. Out. A crappy track pieces. <laughs> like, right. I mean, it, they are crappy track pieces, but that that's that's the point, right? Um, this reminds me of like some lo-fi Sim City, man. Yeah, uh, but I, it's sort of kind of like that. Uh, about some that isometric multiplayer Minecraft. <laughs> I I just like the fact that you can play it with people on the internet without Steam fucking remote play. <laughs> My yeah. God! <laughs> but the thing I noticed were like the uh, the level where you seem to be playing in what is, what is that a volcano? Um, I was looking at that screenshot. It's like where's the train? And it took me about a minute to actually find. Oh, it's right along the top there. Okay, so uh, that's a very very nice screenshot to show me exactly just how character blind I'll be through the whole thing. All I have is like PTSD flashbacks of the train missions and into the breach where it's like, oh, God, how can I like make this train survive? It's yeah, just trying to kill itself. Survive. <laughs> it, it just doesn't happen. It doesn't. It's so infuriating. It gets to the <laughs> point you, where train. I just put my mechs on the on the track and only move them when the train is going to move that way. It's like, OK, so we're going to scooch everything else. I don't know, man. I took a look at this and it's uh, currently 19.99. if you want to pick it up. There is a free demo, so you can taste before you 
buy. And um, for me, this is like, this is one of those games that uh, if you're looking, if you need, if you're in desperate need of things to do, pick up something like this. Not really my bag, but hey. Could, could, could be a fun like fuck around simulator or a party game too. Um, I looked at it and I'm like, if I download it, what am I going to do? I'm going to draw a dick with some train tracks and uninstall it. Uh, <laughs> so? Uh, listen, I'm honest with myself, man. <laughs> Art of Rally, which is uh, impervious to capitalization, is yeah, no wrong. completely. And uh, big, big kudos to um, Dune. Uh, that's what he signed his, uh, his email as, uh, aka Fun Selector, which I keep reading as Fun Skeletor. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he was the developer of uh, the art of drifting. I think that was the um, what was mm. it? absolute drift. Uh, the, the, it's basically what about the art if of you breaking? look uh, if you look at the uh, if you look at absolute drift and you look at art of rally, you go, yeah, no, that's absolutely the same person because it's basically the same kind of game except art of rally at now, least I remember we talked about this earlier textures. and you said the <laughs> trailers were uh, what was your exact word full of lies yes it was you see that camera angle right there yeah i see a game i want to play right there uh yeah no that's the camera angle you get oh. it, it you see that top down view yeah but i like that's this view better <laughs> yeah yeah no the, that no, view of no, like i've played enough games with that view <laughs> this is a view i want I want to. I want to uh, be driving the car and not like seeing the exact direction that's going. I want to see it from like a side angle. Right. I, I really don't need to see the like godlike view of the. Uh, well, I can't. Wait a minute. Can I run over the people? Uh, well, no, the, the, they are, are, are they away as <laughs> are, 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 are they people? They look like little lipstick containers or like they are. Just, they are just little polygons uh, floating around on the screen for the most part. Mm. Uh, but yeah, no, the actual physics of the game are very good. They're very well done. Uh, it's just the camera angle, like that helicopter view. Can I have like the typical third person racing game view where it's behind a car or maybe a cockpit view? Mm -mm. No. Can't well, they, uh, he said his key, so I guess we get to throw chairs at it at some point. Hey, that's uh, <laughs> what, what, what's it cost? Um, uh, 20, some 20, 20 pounds over here. <laughs> Single player, you get some achievements. It works with the cloud, and it's got uh, number digits for stats, and it's also got a letter board. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> maybe there's a way to unlock uh, multiple camera. I don't even know. Maybe there is like other. Well, someone needs views. to mod like a better camera on that because the, the, the top view one. No, mm. not doing. Can it someone mod me. in? <laughs> can someone mod in the Sam Raimi cam that just like follows you like like an Evil Dead? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, here's the thing, man. Um, one thing when you think about automobile racing and drifting, you your your brain tends to immediately like slide over to necrophilia. Yeah, in, indeed. So uh, we're, we're talking about undead darlings, no cure for love. Um, so like, I don't, I don't know. I, I always wondered why like I the whole the holder games never really had much of a comeback aside from like Legend of Grimrock. Um, but here's one now, and it features necrophilia. Um, yeah, so you 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 crawl through dungeons. You're apparently like a half zombie trying to find love. Someone wait, wait, someone wait a someone saw right, warm wait, wait, bodies. What the hell is a half zombie? Um, yes. how does that even <laughs> work? I mean, what is this like my shovel waifu? Well, I mean, like, how no, does half it's vampire, you're a zombie, half vampire but you're work? not dead yet. So I think you're not but, technically but, a zombie or only Pedro, half Pedro, of I, the way Pedro, there. I'm pretty sure I can show you on the doll like 16 fucking places where that sentence makes fuck all sense. No, you like <laughs> zo zombie means that you're dead unless you're like a voodoo zombie, in which case you, you've, you, you've just taken a mega dose of scopolamine. Maybe, maybe that's maybe that's a game. Maybe you're just fucking hallucinating on scopolamine. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you wake like up and that, you. Uh, <laughs> Arise, In this waifu. particular Arise. harem game, um, there's no nudity or sexual content in the uh, the tags, the user-defined tags. Also, I see there's one, two, three, four, five, six girls in the uh, little image there, and the one gay option. All right, so, I so, feel so, like hold, the gay community hold, hold is a little bit underrepresented. <laughs> Well, I, I, I don't I don't know about gay zombies, I don't man. Know, man. We're, we're I don't check know them. because we're, we're looking at this uh, product received for free. Did you ever want to flirt with a zombie? Yes. Then look no further. Undead darlings. No cure for love is right here. 
Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just looking at the screenshot of like the the combat menu. Apparently, your attacks are a choice of attack, exhalation, fzzt, compassion, defend, power thrust, <laughs> blinder, and sweep. Power thrust, baby. Power thrust, baby. Or fzzt. well, hey, that's that's our um, Halloween themed game of the week. Is uh, what was it called? Again? Undead, Undead darlings. darlings. No. Undead darlings. <laughs> All right, uh, up, ne- up next, we got uh, Cold War tensions because, you know, that's not a thing we're dealing with in the real world. Uh, yeah, but, so this is this is like War Games, the game. Um, it's uh, th- You can do it with uh, 1v1 versus a human or 1v computer. Uh, and you're basically just trying to run and manage the Cold War, try to make it make the Soviets win, make the Americans win, whatever. Um, and w- do you think w- it'll w- like w- ever mix things up and be like, oh, Fidel Castro and... Megatron. I'm like, all right. F- all right. You fucking <laughs> Fidel Castro becomes Megatron. He turns into an airplane and starts like, oh no 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 no. He turns into a gun and then Boris Yeltsin picks him up and starts shooting. Yeah, sure. yeah. I don't, I don't know. Um, it it seems interesting. Uh, especially the one on one aspect. Um, because they have a leaderboard as well. So, um, if if you're into like politicking and political strategy, this might Whoa. be a fun little game for you. It's a it's a little expensive though, so you probably need to be into politicking and grand strategy if you're gonna buy it. Well, you know, in all fairness, they almost have the same price for their DLC as they do for the entire game. Uh, Indeed. <laughs> I took a look at this edition. man, and I'm like, you know what? Uh this kind of looks like a strategy game that takes place in cool retro turn. Yeah. The only winning move is not to play. What the, whoa, oh, mouse and keyboard are required. Internet connection or 1v1 ranked multiplayer. Ranked multiplayer. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that's what I was getting at. They, they have a leaderboard. So like I said, if like for, for, for the politicky side of things, like if you if you like that sort of gameplay, like Crusader Kings-esque, I can, I can see like 1v1 being kind of interesting, kind of. I would, I would, I would want to see a live stream of it just to see I, if like I there's would, potential. I would like to see a stream of where somebody clicks on the multiplayer button if there was another person available. Maybe. <laughs> I, 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 th- that's the thing. These kinds of games, they have that niche community, and if they find one that they like, that is all they will play until a new one comes look, out. Look at Crusader Kings, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the original stronghold. Uh, yeah, no, that that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I say rip them off. Yeah. So this is a, a it's a tower defense game, I guess, but it's it's ca- it's capitalism. The Dude, tower it, defense it game. It threw me back because it's like you know what you know what economic management and tower defense. Oh shit! You had me sold with economic management. Now you're gonna throw tower defense on top of it. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I guess the the goal of this is to like set up your tower defense to extract as much money from the plebs as possible, like a right, proper capitalist. And yeah, all you need is apparently one gigabyte of GPU to do it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you look, look down at the system requirements, <laughs> you just need you, GPU one gigabyte. So yeah. I see one of the things listed in this game is it's satire. So that might be something. And it's only eight ninety nine. Um, oh, there's a jazzy edition. The fuck? Yeah. Um, soundtrack. Okay. So yeah. maybe you get to uh, capitalist uh, and rip them off it with some smooth jazz. Uh, yeah. Basically, the point seems to be get as many people to go into the shops rather than just walking out of the map. So. Yeah, tower yeah. defense. <laughs> I, it's 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 an interesting gimmick, right? Like that's yeah. that's what we want to see. People like trying different stuff with game established game mechanics. Yep. That's how you get development. You gotta play around uh, with it. So um Pedro, Speaking of gimmicks, Pedro, uh, I, I thought I genuinely thought we were done with fucking retro shooters for twenty twenty. Uh, no. <laughs> in fact uh with uh doom eternal being as popular as it was no retro shooters aren't going anywhere anytime soon uh this is Proteus. did you just call and, doom eternal a retro shooter uh yeah all right keep going <laughs> i look forward to your hate mail uh the uh this one is actually being published by humble uh it's being developed by bounding box software and the thing that kind of caught my eye was the request oh, this is getting published by hum- humble yeah i better check my email i probably get a copy maybe <laughs> i got the email to say oh the, you can request access to this now what do you uh, mean so request I, access you gotta you gotta, you gotta click on the request and access scroll bucket. down <laughs> oh. so, uh, yeah that that was uh the thing that kind of sh- sh- 
stuck out to me with this particular game was, oh, you need to request access to the, it's not exactly early access as uh, you're used to it, you request access to it, and then if the developer uh, approves you, then you can play the early build. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you could go in, request access, maybe you'll get lucky, maybe you'll get called in, and um, I haven't been. Sure. Send us some hate mail if you are, right? Like, yeah, tell us I didn't know that, like, because Humble hits me up all the time with, like, um, previews and stuff, but it, almost all of them are Windows games. are like, hey, this is coming out. Here's our key, or would you like to, you know, because we have, like, the Humble affiliate thing. By the uh, way, yeah. do you have a... It, it, it was, I scrolled down and I saw, oh, there's uh, Linux system requirements. Okay, in the show notes you go. <laughs> yeah. by, by, the, by the way, man, you don't happen to have a key for Temtem, do you? What is that? That's the, the, the Pumble Pokemon. produced Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Should I? Maybe. it's Pum- Humble publishes it, right? You're on the monthly thing. So. Yeah. All right. I'll take a look. Good. Yes. Excellent. Mm, good, good. All right. Coming up next, they're releasing the 3070 in time for my birthday, so you should buy me one. And, well, this is usually the point where I start to waffle around a bit. Waffle. We, the waffler. <laughs> well, we start cut start, to, start uh, pancaking then. Syrup, Pancake. Syrup of truth. Crepe. I could actually go for crepe, some pancakes crepe. just nope. because Dane, it's like... Uh, you, were, you were the embodiment of Dane Cook. <laughs> Cr- I'm, it's I'm, almost I'm about, three in the morning here right now. I'm about so, to crepe yeah, my no pants. Pancakes sound really good, <laughs> if I'm honest. Some, but no, some, uh, this is the time where French we cut toast. to Jordan. Yeah, no, we cut to Jordan so he can uh, thank you all for uh, being so financially irresponsible. Oh, all you've done is make <laughs> make him hungry. Yeah, he's now he's hungry and sleepy. I was already <laughs> hungry and sleepy. This has changed nothing. If you if if, if you if you want to buy me a sandwich, maybe head on over to Patreon or not. Head on over to LinuxGameCast.com. Yeah. Put your mouse over the support button. Maybe send me some Bitcoin for a Subway sandwich. I'm sure they take Bitcoin right now, even though their bread is too sugary to be considered bread in Ireland. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Right? Yeah, that. I saw that. <laughs> tangent, tangent, but um, but yeah, uh, we 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 got we got uh, we got wish lists, we got Bitcoin, we got PayPal, we got we got a store. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, best way to support us, though, head on over to the yep. best way to support us is with genuine leather dog gimp mask bound slave cap adult sex toy pointed ear with mouth plug eye leather hood sexy helmet unisex <laughs> SM sex toys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's only nine nine dollars of shipping. It's a steal. I um, want to see Jordan do the chairquisition on that. Did, that's ki- yeah. that's kind of the point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I I may or may not have a pair of nipple clamps I can co opt for this too. Um, <laughs> and and anyways, yeah, we we, we got a store store out on dot com. Buy some t shirts. I actually wore my use me penguin shirt out in public for the first time just because I needed a clean shirt. No one gave me any looks, so there you go. You can you can safely walk in public wearing that. I, I, I think this one's you. going to be like, um, would have break it out in July, possibly. And I'm like, oh, yeah. but it's just skulls. They're like, oh, look, he's an old he's an old guy trying to be edgy, isn't he? Adorable. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we, we got we got a Patreon too, patreoncom slash gamecast. That's the best way to support us because you yeah, get a ton of cool stuff, like the pre pre super shows, and you can show up half an hour or not half. Why do I keep saying that? I an hour know, early. I think I think seven thirty. My brain thinks half an hour. Half an hour. But yeah, you know uh, what? If you want us to show up half an hour before, go for it. We're not going to. I, I mean, you'll have zero context, but maybe that's that's a fun drinking game for you. <laughs> but yeah, you get the pre pre super shows and an extra hour of Linux gaming content for you where we just sit around and talk about TV shows and shit. Um, you can get access to the show notes. Uh, you can uh, get access to our Discord channel. RSVP for game streams. We were doing some Left 4 Dead. You could have mm-hmm. played with us. Um, maybe you can play with us. Get some early access, podcast. man. I mean, if you want to relive the old days. I saw, I went and looked. Um, our last, the very ending of Trine 3. Mm-hmm. That that was just up, because that's where I left it. I left it for patrons, because I make it possible. Mm-hmm. So I went to make that public. That was in 2016. Yeah, I, I, saw, I saw that. I'm like, did he already upload that? I was like, wait, no, this is trying three. I'm so confused. Yeah, that, that, was, just, a, was, that was just never posted to YouTube, I guess. So no, 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 it was only posted to uh, patrons. And right. uh, hey, if you like if you like this nonsense, you want to get a little early. Um, it makes sense to do it on Saturday because the uh, YouTube version of Linux Gamecast Weekly is usually up about three or four hours before it goes live publicly because I have to sit back and wait for 
all the audio stuff to get uploaded and I have to break down all the other video versions and do the uh, timestamps and all that. So that's always posted in the announcement segment of the discord. All right. Uh, we, we, well, we got, we, we got, we got someone we got to think uh, vigilant Vi- Viking is our latest Patreon. So thanks a lot for He's that. Full of, Vikings. Fan of the alliteration there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Du- double V maybe one day he'll have his own game called V V V V V V V V V V V V Let's get into it. Pedro, when are you buying me my birthday present? Uh, I don't think I am, especially, uh, you know, given that single income household and whatnot. But uh, by the way, I would just like to let everyone know that um, control scroll up when Discord's in focus doesn't break anything. Just thought I'd randomly throw okay. that fact out there. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, no, uh, NVIDIA put out an update on the RTX 3070 availability, and they are... Uh, Putting it at the almost at the end of October, October 29th Wrong button. is the when fourth they law of are, robotics. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to be uh, releasing slash you know updating uh, <laughs> the people who already have access to those cards. Oh, they to have say, comments enabled. Like, oh, how brave! Um, I, 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 sh- 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 shall shall we? Yeah. <laughs> But honestly, I think at this point, uh, it's uh, it's more of the uh, trying to appease the investors because they cocked up the 3080 launch. They cocked up the 3090 don't launch. Don't they didn't. You're, you're thinking like a fucking consumer. NVIDIA didn't cock up a goddamn thing. They sold everything they had. That's not cocking <laughs> up anything. And they got people talking yeah. about their shit, too. <laughs> Right, so then, they, then they're writing the news cycle of like, when are they going to make more? They're make more. Okay, this rolls out. Let me tell you. <laughs> First off, I'm sitting around in my leather jacket just laughing and these motherfuckers going, oh. <laughs> they're like, oh, right. And we, we're going to put a capture on the system because, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to slow people down buying our shit. Uh, Stop the scalpers, yes. <laughs> yeah, we don't care about this. We're in video. We don't give a fuck about the scalpers. You know why? Their money still goes in the bank just like yours. Uh, check this out, though. I was like, why did you move to 29th? That sounds, oh, right. AMD RDNA 2 announcement is on the 28th. Hmm. Yeah. Now, and, uh, do you, late October keeps the pressure on AMD. Go figure. Do you, do you think there's going to be some <laughs> unedited slide in that 29th presentation where they're just like, oh, shit, we forgot to change all the numbers? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, here, here, here's what I want to know, though. Um, like on the off chance because i will always hold hope among hopes at amd I, I have a lot of faith for amd on the cpu side i have an entire wall of amd processors going back two decades to prove that um i want them to drop like some spicy hotness like i just want like pfft. by the way it's new yeah do the new business thing but it, for gpus yeah that's what i'm talking about man and like i mean it doesn't because we're all realistically we're like yeah maybe they'll have something that'll be as fast or maybe just a little bit faster than a 2080 ti and you know what we're like hey that's good what did they come out with something that is maybe a little bit faster than whatever this 3070 is going to you know they're like 3070 is as fast as a 2080 ti maybe amd comes i'm like hey yeah we got that too but it's 399 that they'd get my money at that point. Well, I, I get then I'm, I'm, I, <laughs> Nvidia's got to go. Oh, did oh no, we were joking. Four ninety nine for the, oh no no, that was a typo. It's three ninety eight now because we're yeah, Nvidia three eighty nine. It's it's like I said earlier. At this point, Nvidia is just going to be like waiting for AMD to make their announcement. They're going to walk them walk up and be like, yo yo yo, fuck your margin and smack them in the dick, right? Like. <laughs> And well, that's the thing. They they in this article, the, the Nvidia says four ninety nine. They the, they seem to be adamant about that particular price. Well, they're not going to tell you it's going to <laughs> surprise. We didn't want to. Uh, uh, <laughs> then there's going to be the thirty seventy Ti variant or whatever that is. That's going to have twelve or sixteen gigs. I mean, we know yeah, that's going to be Ti a thing. Super whatever they decide to call it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's. It's NVIDIA, one for every market segment, but that's not a market segment. And it doesn't matter. Which is, it is now. Yeah. <laughs> yep. What's the difference between them, NVIDIA? 30 bucks. Bin- binning. <laughs> yeah. right. Yep. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is not uh, our PCS3. No, no, no. This is PCSX2. Okay. The, P- the PS2. 
emulator. Not to be confused with PCX, uh, PCSXR, the PlayStation 1 emulator. Yar. My yes. God, I wish they just have a consistent <laughs> fucking project name. It, it it's is always a different PMI. people, right? So <laughs> I guess they just want to be different, but no, they have... Uh, I guess they saw the RPCS3 uh, like progress reports and they figured, you know what? Let's drive some interest into our uh, mostly done emulator at this point and uh, have uh, the compatibility overview down the left side and then do a report of everything that changed over the past couple of months. And this is for Q, uh, Q3 2020. And doing a control F for Linux only returns the one hit at which they fixed the uh, one pad plugin, which is the controller plugin uh, that if you pause the game and then you all tabbed out of the window and then tried to come back, it wouldn't take any input. So. Man, yeah. look at those so, retro graphics, vintage. <laughs> it was, it was pretty. It was, yeah, it was pretty good. Actually, actually, uh, the 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 big thing with that fix is it helps a lot of uh, task speedrunners uh, because yep. if you want if you want to like actually record your task run, uh, this was causing problems. I'm gonna go out on the limb and say it's slightly more accurate on the right side. Of the story <laughs> um, yeah, this stuff isn't being stretched out to infinity. It's a, uh, and but also, the big difference that I noticed uh, in the uh, the renderer is that they drop glx entirely in favor of egl so i bet nvidia is happy mm. <laughs> not, not 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 really but whatever they'll, they'll take it they're they're not happy unless you're spending upwards of 600 dollars on a video card every year yeah, yeah yeah well hey man that's the thing i'm so good on them uh i think i like once i set up a ps2 like me later um i don't know if i think it might have been this one just to like hey look that run guy didn't crash and i'm like i'm done <laughs> yeah uh, 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 this, this is not I, th I played one of the gran turismo games that were out on the psc there were like three of them mm -hmm. um i played that on uh pcsx2 and yeah no it if you look at the like the very top of the page or close to, they say that ninety seven point fourteen percent of the games that have been reported, you know, twenty five hundred and eighty two games for the games, PS2 man. are playable. Yeah. So yeah, PS2 had a lot of good games too. So I'm gl I'm glad shit like this exists to just preserve it forever. How many of them yeah. take advantage of the emotion engine? I don't know. Most. The emulsion engine? Emotion the emulsion engine. The emulsion engine where you you yes. just make a vegetable paste I don't in your know. PlayStation. Pedro's the one hearing shit. <laughs> no no need to start a war zone here. Oh dude, you can't because they're all in Vulcan land. War zone. Not if not if you're using Snap. No. Well, that's your own damn problem. Check this out. Uh, a Vulcan Warzone is now a reality. Uh, or you, you might be familiar with Warzone 2100 and past two drop down. It's like, hey, man, I think this is about ready to merge. And if you get a chance, uh, final quick test. Do we have a Vulcan capable system? There's currently uh, Debs, um, no snaps. You got to deal with OpenGL and OpenGL ES if it's supported. Snap Vulcan support will come later. Pedro, what is Warzone 2100? Uh, Warzone 2100 is one of those games that uh, they look really neat, but I'll probably never play them. Uh, <laughs> wow, that was super it, descriptive, Pedro. Thank you. That that really clarified things. Strategy. You know okay. what? You know what? In Pedro's defense, read the fucking about segment right there for me, Jordan. <laughs> right. Yeah. Homepage of the blah 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 blah. Yeah. Warzone, um, a free and open source real time strategy game. Period. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's real time strategy. That's uh, it, it's um, <clears throat> Command and Conquer. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> I I downloaded it. It took me a minute to figure out where the dev files were because it wasn't exactly Pepsi clear. But uh, it worked. It launched. Open a window, and I was like, "Hey, look, Vulcan bits." I couldn't really tell. I mean, come on. But hey, good news. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah more that, more Vulcan is good Vulcan. The thing that struck me was, uh, why would you have a Vulcan build in a snap? It seems rather antithetical to have a low-level API working in a goddamn container, especially containers, snaps of all of containers them. Containers of the future, bro. <laughs> I, I, I mean... <laughs> But it's, it's, you can make the same argument with like OpenGL, right? Like, why would you why would you use a graphical application in a container? It's 
Well, no, yeah, but it the boils gel down is... to like, why would you use a fucking container for a video game? <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to make sure that like you're, you have a consistent environment to run it in. I can see yeah. the point of having video games in containers. Uh, it's just the point of having, you know, a Vulcan game in a container. Don't Microsoft is bringing DirectX 12 to containers, man. You got to get with the times. It's, I got yeah, no, the UWP is that whole Linux. thing and that's completely stupid as people, you know, have come to find out because you can't even run mods. Whatever. Uh, you don't Listen, get man, I have a full screen. I have a web-based like smart utility <laughs> for you to try out. <laughs> it only requires one Docker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real thing we talked about Saturday. Uh, please yeah. don't ever do that. Like, uh, t- Docker should not be a requirement to try your app. No. I, 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 for I, servers, no. yes. For I, I, Hang on. I, I no, fucking no, disagree. Pedro, <laughs> here we go. This is why I said that. Because somebody's going to be like, no, you should have Docker installed to try an application. Why not? If you don't want to install Because I don't have Docker the- installed and I don't want to walk somebody through getting it set up. So install Podman and it's the same shit. Yeah, that that's what I need to try. It's you the out. same reason I don't have snaps enabled. Uh huh. <laughs> well, you, you you people need to get with the times, man. You're li- you're living in the old days on cavemen. a desktop. Go fuck yourself. Yes. Yeah. On a yeah. desktop computer that's sitting yeah, right that, there. That's, not, that's you know, the old days, the man. Cloud. The new things is tablets. <laughs> tablets and Fortnite. Uh, but, you know, maybe maybe, <laughs> maybe maybe you have an old game that doesn't have online multiplayer, but does so have uh, network got a million iPad. Just, just go fuck yourself on it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and play just, Fortnite just, on that bitch. Just, 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 just <laughs> send, me, send me free shit. It's fine. As, as long as it's not a bomb, I'm cool. Um, yeah, uh, zero, zero tier GUI. Um, so, it's so, yeah. The, the 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 question here is all right. It's a GUI for what? What the fuck is zero tier? Right. It's uh, it's a VPN service, uh, like Comanche, like OpenVPN. Basically, you set it up. You set up a, pri- a private network where people can just connect to your server via like a one nine two one six eight or a ten or one seven two sixteen address. Yeah, uh, it's just uh, so uh, there's a command line utility uh, that you need to use for uh, zero tier if you want to get that set up under Linux. Now there's a GUI for it. Mm. Which I guess is good. Like people like clicky things, right? Uh, it's just like really tailored for like game gaming or something. Mm. Uh, I I, su- I suppose it is. Um, you 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 saw a lot of like Hamanchi marketing uh, around that <laughs> as well. Uh, it's it's like I said, it's mostly it's mostly for older games that only have LAN support and do not have some sort of. It's uh support. yeah, Hamachi. That that that's the um equivalent tool for Bless windows you. land it, you basically create vpns for uh games that no longer have active servers and you play over the internet by creating a virtual lan oh so, yep. so, so then you just start like the game and go so, 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 it's like, yeah, yeah it's a virtual yeah. private network what? surprise never heard of that yes I don't, I don't. <laughs> it, it, it's it's crazy new technology <laughs> yeah no uh if you're a windows user and for some reason you stumbled onto linux gamecast it's hamachi yep okay. bless you because it goes on tight all right uh scum <laughs> we, we, we we like seeing uh, we like seeing updates about that because this is one of those like super long-lived like open source gaming projects uh scum bm has a new version out uh 220 jordan Interactive I, Fantasy. i'm sad because i got a feeling blazing dragons is not going to be the game i wish it was no right I, I, every time i see that i'm like it's not medieval era blazing saddles and that just makes me sad it makes me upset genuinely um but yeah uh the uh, scum usually is for like playing old manic mansion games or point and click adventure games they're expanding their purview to old rpgs as well so um they've added support for eye of the beholder for sega cd and if they could get entire gold box support in i'd be so happy Happy, so happy i don't have the old decoder wheels that came with Dude, the old gold box speaking games, of like, like old decoder wheels i saw that like oh what oh really they're they're gonna have um police quests what it's like i remember having that game allegedly yeah. uh but also allegedly not having like the manual that you needed for like the very first mission right mm-hmm. what, what, what what's what's the first what's like word number eight in on page X it wasn't whatever, even that bad this was like some they tied it in very well to the game. It was like, oh, you devious fucks. Well done. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I think you holder, you had like a little paper wheel that you had to like match the symbols and punch them in. They had like um, the decoder wheels and they had like, uh, remember the like book manuals on red paper with black. Yeah. Print? Yeah. 
<laughs> that yeah, if yeah, you yeah. left them out in the sun for too long, you it would be impossible to read. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, that, well, if you tried to photocopy them, <laughs> you just end up with a effectively yeah. uh, just a single dark sheet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're if you're on Linux, though, like most of us are, if you're listening to this podcast, never heard of Scott. Um, you can now use a Nautilus or Dolphin, whatever freaking file browser you have, and not the scum VM one if you mm -hmm. want to drag and drop stuff. So that's nice. Yeah, Ultima are the big ones here. It's like Ultima four, Ultima six, and Ultima eight. Yeah, <laughs> two, 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 two of which have open source versions. But you know, whatever. It's it's nice to be able to play them. In I gotta play the original for them. To, well, now they have another open source version, more, sort, yeah. Of. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> sort of. Dude, <laughs> uh, open project one. This is from Unity of all people. What is he? Never heard of it. Well, talk about an easy description. Um, it's action adventure. That's your uh, description. What? Okay. What are they doing? It's a crowdsourced game, to which I reply, huh. Okay. It's an initiative where Unity and the community, they want to collaborate, man. They want to get everybody collaborating to create a small game in an open source way. Their words, not mine. Um, they're looking for code, art, narrative, sounds, anything's welcome. Decided like a bricks, and uh, it's on GitHub. So it will be built with Unity 2019.4 LTS. Whatever latest patch is available, I like that. That's the spirit. Is uh, this anything more than a curiosity for us, gentlemen? I mean, I guess, I guess if you're into like community game dev stuff, mm -hmm. uh, this might be interesting to you. Um, you might have a chance to. I, I don't know, because when, when you say, like, crowdsourced games, right, what, what I hear is a lot of fighting amongst the community because Group X wants to make a shooter, Group Y wants to make an RPG, Group Z wants to make a fucking strategy game, Group A, A, Alpha, Centauri wants to, like, make a racing game or some shit, mm -hmm. right? Like, you, you're, you're, you're going to have a lot of... I, I, I'm concerned that they're not going to find the consensus that they're really hoping for without like really strict moderation at which I point it's the consensus is the point here to be honest because again this is unity we've seen what the unity ghetto looks like just have a look at steam uh, but it's interesting to see what you know just a bunch of people throwing stuff at a project will actually be able to do i kind of feel like the three of us has walked over to the edge of it well one of us did and looked down and they saw this and they're like we're gonna watch this and see what happens i mean i mean maybe like <laughs> I, I i hope something cool comes out of it but not i'm not i'm not holding my breath <laughs> yeah, not, not, yeah. not holding my breath for sure but it, it'll be interesting to see if uh <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I just don't see anybody really getting involved with this. This is um, like, like, like I said. I think there, there there's a pretty big community surrounding like indie game dev. Mm -hmm. So I think that will be the main driver here. Um, what they actually produce, though, I guess it's in the air, right? Mm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Good news, everyone. Atari what? VCS consoles are finally on the way after significant delays. Pallets. Containing thousands of Atari VCS modules. <laughs> They're being shipped out. It's thing. Um, man, okay. They, they even have like a thing. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. No, 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 no. They, they posted on their medium. Look at it. Oh. It says Atari and there's boxes with Atari all over it. Uh, apparently people are also uh, packing up too. <laughs> that looks like a Ubuntu screenshot, but yeah. Yeah. In the middle monitor there. Yeah, that, 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 that's definitely an Ubuntu wallpaper. So we're seeing the panels and uh, yeah, this is like stacked up on pallets. It's heading on a slow boat. There it is. We get two USB three holes, HDMI, Ethernet, AC. And look at that power. Look at that. Look at how that's etched. It's a uh, hexagon instead of ROM because fuck you. If this thing dies, you got to buy another one from us. And uh, right. <laughs> what, 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 why, why would you want to use something consistent like USB 3 or some other thing? Mm -hmm. power okay. I'm just no. going to listen. Pro tip kids, buy that, put it in a safe deposit box and wait 30 years. That's going to be valuable. Um, <gasps> Well, yeah, I, I'm I gonna guess, wait I, I, about a year and buy it for like a hundred pounds. Oh no, 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 Pedro, you misunderstand. <laughs> Just the power adapter. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for for sure, you you you'll, you'll be able to recoup your investment. I don't know. I'm still holding out hope that like once people get their hands on it and start rooting the ever loving fuck out of it, mm -hmm. you'll be able to pick one up for cheap, and it'll be a good set top box. Mm. Well, I guess we should point out that um, according to Atari, these are going to backers. 
Yes. These are not going to your store shelves that you can pick up. These are going to, I mean, did I say backers? I meant scalpers because I know what I would be doing if I finally got my Atari <laughs> VCS. It would be on the Ebays for $2,600. Oh, yeah. Those damn These Atari scalpers. Very quickly on eBay. <laughs> So to answer, like, do you think this is going to go the way of the Oya? Mm, no, I don't. I, I don't think it's going to get that much traction. People, and they were, and like Oya had a community behind it. People like legit believed in the project. They, they threw some never- money behind it and they tried to get it all together. And like they had the store and like there were a lot of people dedicated. It's like, no, we're going to make this a thing. And unfortunately, oh, op- op- an open gaming platform is. Yeah. And it's it's a good ideal to strive for, but Ouya this felt. I don't think it's ever going to be because the thing about the Ouya is they did make a j- billion of them, so you could find them at um you know thrift stores and places like that, mm-hmm. and people were just like, here, do you want mine? I'm like, no. I'm good. <laughs> this I think is boutique enough to where that we're just never going to run into that situation. Either you pay the iron price, or you're going to wait a year and you're going to pay three times the iron price. The wood mm. paneling, yeah, <laughs> doesn't grow on trees, man. <laughs> Well, it is actually the plastic. so it's arguably more useful than the Ouya ever was. So well, maybe. Mm. <laughs> I kind of want the USB controller with a one button on it. But what? But what? What, what are we going to run on it though? <laughs> BSD Brick Simulator. Yeah. What, 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 what's what's the best distribution for playing playing video games on on the Linux? Well, according to TechRadar.pro, even though it's TechRadar.com, <laughs> that's the first lie this site tells you. Uh, <laughs> right yes. This comes from TechRadar.pro. Yeah. Nick Pierce, Nate Drake, and Shashank Shark- Sharm. All right. Shawshank Sharma. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and it is uh, the all three of them. No, Pedro, are, this wrote is good. An article. Look, look, that's letting Give me this from 2020. <laughs> I'm reading it. And get your game on with these specially tailored. Why are you hating on this, man? Jeez. No, I'm not a hating. I'm not a hating. I'm just asking everyone who's currently listening to this mm-hmm. to keep the words best Linux distro in mind. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I started reading and they have like a a little bit of an intro blurb and on the very last bit, they say, while these won't turn your distro into anything like a home video console, like a PS4 or Xbox one, they do help provide for an accessible gaming experience for Linux users. And the first entry is drum roll, please. Steam (laughs) I'm sorry. What did you not just say that these would not turn, um, your PC into a console type experience like the PS. Oh, it's Steam OS. That was the whole point. Uh huh. Also, uh, if you scroll down to number three, you see Laka, which again is the whole point. <laughs> hang on, hang on. We we got to check out this. The ever we got to check out number play two. Play on Linux because- OS. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So remember the, what I said to keep in mind the words best Linux gaming distro. Uh huh. Play on Linux. Go ahead and find me that distro, please. Well, if you go if, well, go to their website and it, it tells you right on the website, hey, we're just, dis- oh, maybe, maybe it doesn't, but see, you see, Pedro, you, you're expecting too much of modern journalism. That would have required them to click on the fucking link that they put in the article. But there's three authors. How the hell does this happen? There's three people credited with this shit. What the just because, fuck? Just because you're credited doesn't mean you actually contributed. <laughs> I just want to make that clear. Um, so TLDR, the best Linux gaming distro you can have is Mac OS. We're not done with this. Um, <sighs> Sparky Linux game over. Relight your game on. Okay, what? Pre-bundled what gamings? I fuck all of I've never heard of it. Um, yeah, it's one of those pre-bundled, uh, it's one of those oh, distros so that no has a bunch of gaming co- stuff. Okay, <laughs> all, all right. So that's number four. Didn't they promise us? Oh, here we go. Ubuntu Game Pack. Okay. Which, if you watch the latest LGR video, he actually ran Ubuntu Game Pack for a whole of three seconds. <laughs> Is okay. that an actual distribution? Yes. Okay, that's one. 
<laughs> Wait, it's 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 no, it's, it's again, not a, it's not like, a pack you install on Ubuntu. Except, it is except for uh, Play on Linux, all the other ones are distros. So they got at least that you know four out of five type of situation yeah. going. But they said that none of those would make your uh, PC like a game's console. But Pedro, Unlike all of the are and uh, the equivalent do. of like installing like RetroArch or something, man. That for yeah. like a single purpose That's game. That's Laka. The Laka is just. A, an entire operating system built around RetroArch. Sounds like you're not a pro <laughs> Linux gamer, Pedro. Yeah. You gotta you gotta listen to these three experts. Real Linux <laughs> gamers don't all they do is Linux game on their Linux. I, I, I put I put play on Linux did, on my uh, live CD and I booted it with the herd kernel mm -hmm. and everything works. <laughs> That's your problem. You just got to install seven Linux. Oh, it's a herd distribution. Okay. <laughs> really, one thing I, one thing I really got to think about. It. Outside of like a poorly done and not the correct timeline, April Fool's joke. <laughs> is this like willful misinformation, or am I overthinking this? I think someone had a quota, and they just yeah. shut this out. It's like, oh yeah, Linux is popular. Let's just shit out an article. It's like there, done. Mm. Yeah. Pay, pay me my commission, please. Thank you. <laughs> but like the Linux gaming is like that's that's like an odd topic well, to just randomly fucking. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, listen, is it? We, we, I we, mean, if uh, we, Linus Tech we, Tips is talking about Linux gaming, is is it? <laughs> Pedro, we learned from last week that there are no <laughs> Linux gaming podcasts or websites or nope. media out there. Oh, it's, you, yeah, no. The, you got you got to <laughs> take the information where you can get it, dude. Inspiration. 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 <laughs> yeah. Now that, now that I've blown my load, coming up next, we're going to blow up some robots. The front chairs of Battletech. Secret, secret. I got a secret. It's the chair acquisition. Uh, this week we're throwing chairs at Battletech, developed by Hairbrain Schemes on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about 40 bucks US, but if you were lucky like last week, you could pick it up for like five bucks and not pay full price for it. Yeah. Um, like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is it? Take command of your own mercenary outfit of mechs and mech warriors that pilot them, struggling to stay afloat as you find yourself drawn into a brutal interstellar civil war. Um, yeah, like I said, we grabbed this game when it was on sale for like six bucks. So right. no, no, no mandatory disclosure this week. Um, once again, Pedro... Uh, Home folder aside has scored the highest for this, this game. Is, this so. is really the whole thing. We've given him a mechanic to go first, and he's just going to take it every week. He doesn't care. He's going to power his way through it. Absolutely. I'm just uh, attributing the chairs that I feel the game is worth. And uh, this particular, well, that that's a bit of a spoiler there if you're watching the video. Version. You know, that's what you did last week, just so you could go first. Yeah. <laughs> the uh no it oh over that, here chug. On that chug that chug oh. with the um ryzen 7 3700x and you if you're watching the video version you just saw the chug uh with the gtx 1080 at um four uh 2560 by 1440 40 by 480 it holds some magnificent doubly cinematic 48 ferps admittedly everything was cranked so there's that. Um, but yeah, no, it launched out of the box, and you do the mouse clicking, and things happen, so that's a pretty hard control scheme to fuck up. Although we have seen games do that, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, the NPC voices, whenever you tell to, okay, just take your mech and put it over there. It's like, going, Commander! It's like, Shut up. Just go. <laughs> it, they start to grade after a while, and for what it is, the graphics, yeah, they're fine. Um, and... The one thing I, I suppose I should mention about the graphics is that if you tell a mech to go past another mech, they just clip into each other like they don't exist. That that was a bit... Well, yeah, because mechs aren't real, Pedro. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a bit jarring to see because... Why? But, yeah. For the fun, though, the uh, low FERPs don't really bother me because this is turn-based, and I like turn-based games, so for this particular instance, 48 FERPs is, I guess, fine. Uh, and it's made by Harebrained, uh, the developers of the Shadowrun video games. So the gameplay is immediately familiar to anyone who has played one of these games, or even, like, XCOM Enemy Unknown. It's the exact same type of situation. But... Much like the Shadowrun games, the story is a lot more fleshed out than it was in XCOM. Uh, even, you know, 
they do railroad you a little bit down a specific path, at least for the first couple of hours. Uh, there's very little deviation, if any at all. Um, but yeah, the story is very much there and it is a big component of why you're doing that. And as I've mentioned in the past, um, I like the mechanics in my video games and if an enemy can shoot you from halfway across the map because somehow they got a sensor lock on you and now those turrets are going to cream your ass, yeah, I'm going to feel a bit cheated, but that's not even what bothers me the most. You know what bothers me the most? The stupid My Games folder it creates in my home Here we folder. go. So two chairs. It would have gotten three if it weren't for that, but it gets two. All right. <laughs> you know I what? Got... You know what, Pedro? We need to contact them and see if they'll make it available as a snap. <laughs> <laughs> Not playing we, that we, either. <laughs> we, we, we need to run a docker inside docker. We gotta oh, inside I guess docker. I'll be the bitter dry middle this week. Um, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do it. Check it out, man. Uh, I tried to make this thing run on a Threadripper 1920X with 32 gigajoules of RAM, NVMe drives, and a Turing NVIDIA 2060 No Cape Edition. My adventure started thus. Step one, click play. It's 2020. Watch it eat shit trying to launch. Step two, launch Steam from the console. Grab that error, fam. Hmm. Step three was Googling that error and to find out that Beta 162, just that one out of like the six available betas, works. Barring that, you can delete libc six in the Battletech underscore data plugins <laughs> x86 underscore 64 folder because it's fucking there. And if you delete it, lo and behold, the regular game works. That ended up being the solution on Debian 10.5. Now, unfortunately, none of these shenanigans prevents the game from running like rewarmed ass it genuinely struggles to hit 60 at 1080 on high or medium makes no difference it's old school unity um often taking dives into the 30s um i was just like shocked i have not seen something run like such poo in quite a while but hey when it comes to the fun you know i don't necessarily like turn-based nonsense but uh, when you're gonna mix in giant murder max into this equation I might be able to overlook some things, man. I just might. Uh, was it the case with this? Well, let's talk about first things first. How did you manage to make something so fugly perform so bad? This just like genuinely bothers me, man. And like, my, you, you think Sirius M3 was brown on brown action? Uh uh this has got you beat, man. Also, RIP, my colorblind brothers and sisters. You're fucked. You're not playing this at all, man. No. Right out of the gate. Uh, I had, not joking, the first battle was the XCOM meme moment with everything landing on the target, and I got a minus one of eight. Like, motherfucker, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, seriously. <laughs> the UI, movement, attack systems, you know, they're right simple. Uh, that's going to just disappoint some of you because I was able to sit there and go, oh, I got this figured out. This is brain dead. Um, that's great, you know. You move your units between baddies, and that's pretty much it. And speaking of moving your units, giggity, that's a chore. That's more boring than the combat, man. Speaking of that combat, it's slow-paced and also slow-moving. Because I still feel, feel the need to remind you that this game eats 1080s for brunch. It does. Mm -hmm. it, it's, I can't get over mm -hmm. it. Multiplayer reading through the forums is apparently a dumpster fire, too. So you have that to look forward to. I finished the tutorial, it's about 65 minutes in, and you know what, I'm good. It's a bog standard um, turn-based tactics. It's got mechs, it's kind of a gimmick, man. Uh, I'm going to say, don't listen to anything I just said, because I don't like turn-based strategy or turn-based tactics, and this didn't do anything to change my mind, and all I'm going to say in closing is like, how about we just forget this happen, bring back Hawken, and by the way, you can fuck right off with your $70. Worth oh, I like DLC. Hawking. Bring back Hawken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'd be good. But no, like seriously, just just fuck this nonsense, man. No, no, no. Yeah. So on uh, Fedora thirty two sixty four bit with the uh, it's not an i seven anymore. It's the R nine thirty nine hundred X. 
the GTX 1080Ti. Yeah, it launches out of the box on Fedora. No no issues, no deleting libc, anything like that. Uh, it holds a whopping 40 frames a second at UHD performance. This is, is not. Also, them load times. Oh, boy. It's not quite as bad as the days of mechanical disks, but it's certainly reminiscent of it. Um... The CG characters in like the slideshow cutscenes, because there's not really any sort of cutscenes for dialogue. It's just these static images, interstitials. Um, they're a step above reboot level. I don't know. I would have preferred like some. <laughs> if you're gonna, if you're gonna do that, maybe go like for a hand drawn aesthetic. But I don't know. That's just me. Uh, the gameplay itself looks fine. Everything, at least in the first areas, is very brown, and you get some more variety later on. Um, but yeah, fun. I don't know, like, I should like this game. On paper, this ticks a lot of my boxes. Turn-based strategy, check. It's an RPG, check. It's got giant robots, check. I've sunk dozens of hours in into the breach and it provides pretty much a similar thing on paper, but like, for whatever reason, this game doesn't really do it for me. Um, so it, it's, it's funny Pedro uh, brought up uh, Shadowrun because this reminds me of playing the tabletop version of Shadowrun. There's a lot of fiddliness. The systems are pretty simple, but then you just get bogged down in the minutiae. You can see in like the bottom corner that my face is kind of covering if you're watching the video version. You have all of these attacks that you you you, you can use. Some of them are of various range. Um, it's not consistent. You don't really get a chance to look at them until a lot later to figure out what the fuck they do until it's far too late. And Or maybe you've positioned yourself and realized, oh, I'm standing right above this guy, but apparently I can't shoot him with my fucking laser. Um, but, it, but yeah. Um, I the, the level of fidelity may be nice if like this was this were like a single player mech warrior game where like you're in the cockpit but this is not this is about controlling a, a, a squad of four mech warriors um and I don't know it's 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 it's, it's not very micromanagey but it feels very micromanagey then hit on it pretty well with like the the overland travel there's a large overland travel component where you're going from one side of the map to the other and it is slow as fuck. Are, are you Even just if you... trying to say you're just not into macrophilia? Macrophilia? <laughs> uh, well, like, so they, 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 ha they have an option where you can actually shut off all, like, the interstitial cinematics during the gameplay, and even then, it takes forever to get from point A to point B. Um, the tactics here is really just about health management, um, and not so much about positioning, because the fights just take forever. You're just whittling shit down, and they're whittling you down, and then you get a bad roll, and you die. And that's, that's these types of games, but... I don't know. With XCOM, when you make a mistake, then you're fucked. The, the, the game is over very, very quickly. Here, you make that mistake, and you're living with, with it. You know that you lost the fight, but for the next 10 rounds or whatever, you're just waiting for these guys to whittle through your seemingly infinite health bars. I, I, I don't know. It, it feels like there's a lot of stuff missing, or maybe there's too much. I'm not sure. It just feels very, very clunky, like a giant robot, which is maybe thematically appropriate. I don't know. Um, I tried it. So I tried, I tried this twice. I tried this during a free weekend a couple months ago, and I couldn't really get into it. And I tried it again here. I guess it's just not my cup of giant robot. I'm going to give it one share. Hmm. Well... Hmm. I tried. I mean, I, I I did feel like it had a lot of story at the beginning. I'm like, this is a bit of a slog. Some of his voice. Then I then I played that um, game I played yesterday on Friday, and I'm like, compared to this game, you can actually play this game in the first 30 minutes. Um, <sighs> but yeah, I, I just I just couldn't get into it. Um, it is just painfully slow, and it's good to know that it's painfully slow, even for uh, turn based tactics. It, yeah. it is, and you will. See, it will start to grate, uh, like the NPC saying "moving," and the, the little stupid, completely pointless cutscenes that zoom in on your mech clipping through another uh, mech. That doesn't look good. Why are you putting the emphasis on something that looks god awful? I, and oh even, god. Even, even, <laughs> even short levels, they like take you an hour to finish just because of how slow everything moves. Like. I, th I think I think if they compressed the time frame, they simplified the combat a little bit, gave you a little bit more, made made you pick a weapon that you use, and maybe give you like the ability to have multiple actions in a turn. That might be a little better, but like the standard sort of D and D style combat that this game uses, I don't think does it any favors. Well, the things I'll say in closing is I'm impressed because this game runs worse than Curse of the Raven Scribe. Which I'd say it runs about the same as Curse of the Raven. I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> And on top of that, 
I I like my mechs like I like my zombies, man. Fast. Ha ha ha, Mecco Burr coming Not up really. next. Mecco Burr. I don't got anything for the hate mail segment. We're doing hate mail next. Well, chances are you probably have some hate mail to send us at this point. I think it was a long enough show that you probably found something that pissed we you off. So, or, or maybe you ahead. fell asleep while typing that hate mail. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you if you did. But I yeah, look if forward you... to all the um, like just uh, bodies of like E or you. Yeah, just, just <laughs> face ma- face right, mash. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you but, just yeah. smash your face into the keyboard, it's always like, oh, Edward first met Bella or some <laughs> shit like that. You can spend us your face smash. Smend um, us. Yes. Smend it. Girl, let me smend us it. your face smash um, messages. Uh, smash that face button, By going fam. over to Linux Gamecast. How, how you like your feedback? <laughs> Fried or fertilized. Smend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, LinuxGamecast.com, you hit the contact button. Just make sure you pick LGC Weekly. It's usually the default, but... So, yeah. Jordan, yeah. Um, what if I add a Smangit option for the drop down? <laughs> I think, I think you should away. Add, I think you should add a Smangit option to the drop down. <laughs> that, that's probably going to uh, be there tomorrow. That can be... <laughs> uh, automatically redirected to me. I probably earned that at this point. <laughs> I will direct it right at your work email. <laughs> do you know my work email? I do. Probably do. It's not hard to guess. No. And this is this is where you insert and post the giant beep as we're doxing Pedro. I didn't. No, no one said it. This is where I'm going to insert like the rolling marquee with his address. Right. <laughs> But yeah, no, if you are a game developer and you'd like us to have a look at your game like someone did this week, make sure you read the thing at the top there. That's kind of, you know, Mm. a thing. If we can't all three of us play it, Mm -hmm. we're not going to talk about your game. We're just going to make fun of you. No, we'd never do that. All right. Well, (laughs) so this motherfucker. um, (laughs) David Gamer. Game, game, game row three. Not to be confused with. Oh, he has the word four. gamer in the name. All right. That's, okay. how, you, that's, that's how you do it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Or, or, is, or is, it, is it David Gamero? Like Gamera? It's literally a fucking three, so he can go fuck himself. Um, that, that's <laughs> his, that, is, that is as challenged as Pedro's four. Okay. That's, that's all I'll say about that. He writes, Hello, Linux Game Cast. It's David here. Oh, David, long time. I don't have a fucking clue who you are. Um, I'm writing to you because today's the premiere. This might have been earlier this week. I just I was digging around for some email. Um, our, par- our partner's game, Dunrog. I really like content on your channel. All right, right on. And I can see that you're doing great. Damn right we are. He's very impressed with the way we run our channel. Happy face. Now, <laughs> getting back to my proposition, as I said, today is the premiere of our game done wrong. And oh, yeah. so it was the partner's game and now it's their game? Hey, man, listen. At the bottom, Pedro, I will provide a link <laughs> to the game. I would like to offer you an activation code for the game on Steam so that you can play it and you know give an honest review on your channel. Steam or social media. It's up to you. To me? To you. Me? To me. <laughs> so naturally, I had to pop over to Steam and, you know, I had to go check this out. I want to see what it's up to. Oh, that, that, that game that came out on October 1st. Uh, it's a Windows game. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker, you, you sent this to athleticsgamecast.com man um <laughs> fucking hell. it's been a minute since like somebody has powered through <laughs> but more importantly not not only did you send it to athleticsgamecast.com you demonstrated your inability to comprehend uh we, we just need three copies and no, 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 motherfucker. You didn't even include a copy of the game. 
No, you send you an gotta email. Reply. <laughs> like, oh shit! Now, nah, girlfriend, you you got to call me back and what? Like, <laughs> the only thing that I can see here is that uh, Onion Milk, the developers of uh, Dunrog, um, they the, their previous game, uh, Pigeon Fight, was out on Linux. Maybe uh, uh, it was a cock- al- allow allow me to, allow me to retort. Fucking and. <laughs> it could have been like a bit of a baggage cock up i, I don't know <laughs> i think that like i don't i don't know i thought this was just like a form email then you were apparently you apparently have other theories no 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 because this is like then the dude like i forget the like last little pit because he was like doesn't this sound like a really great idea guys like it, it, this, this wasn't like copy pasta form. I have, I read too much of this shit for it. Um. <laughs> mm. uh, the space between Linux game cast and the um, exclamation mark does suggest that maybe this was copy paste. You're not getting, <laughs> you're getting what, yeah, in all fucking caps, you're not getting the right full size happy faces and shit. But I don't know. Maybe it was copy and pasted Pedro and our spam golem didn't eat it alive like it would anything because you clearly have not tried to hit control V in our fucking form and watch it <laughs> nuke that shit straight out of there because that's what it does. But maybe it was not copy and pasted kids. Maybe, but, maybe he just like typed it out manually. There's like, a, like a, a, a sticky note with like the actual message and he's just like, I don't know. <laughs> We've already established the motherfucker can't read, or somebody on this he's game. He's got the word gamer in the name. Come on. <laughs> he's also got the number three, so he's your kin. Gamer, gamers <laughs> rise up, man. G- gameros. Man, I, I, I love eating gameros for breakfast. <sighs> to, to put a bow on Hi. this, ladies and gentlemen, fucking and. <laughs> On that bombshell, let's cue the music. You can always find us around 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. That's where we're rocking, we're rolling, and we're fucking and anding, man. It's kind of a thing. It's kind of brilliant. If you're a patron, come hop in Discord an hour earlier. Uh, check out our pre-pre-super shows and our production meeting where we have sexy time with you and ourselves. If you want to get in touch with me, just at Vin Stone on Twitter or at Vin at mast.lytxgamecast.com because that's the thing we have. I'm Jordan Swung. Along with a heaping bowl of gameros, I'm part of a complete <laughs> breakfast. You can find more of my nutritional facts at The Burning Fool on Twitter. And here I thought Gamerous was that uh, arch, not arch, uh, Linux distribution that's trying to replace Steve. No, Lewis. no, it was that character on uh, the Godzilla movie that couldn't read. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's a turtle. Turtles can't read. You might read. not know yeah, it. Godzilla yeah. perfectly literate. Bilingual. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, Gojira is, uh, let's not go there. I am Peter Mateusz. If you would like to go there, hit me up on Twitter. That's at an accounted four. That, that, that's that whole thing that's been going on. So yeah, not on, not know. on accounted three though. <laughs> no. On accounted three, we'll take you to this guy, David Gamer 03. <laughs> He's everywhere, man. We're going to roll some credits and thank the beautiful people who make this shit possible. Maybe. Do I have credits yeah, on there's here? a lot of them. Yeah. To be fair. I, I, I don't know. You've been switching to it quite a bit. It, it's been a dance, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to thank our lovely, lovely executive producers, the people who are giving us the most cashola. CDXXIV, the, baby. Yeah, the Philips CDI, CDXXIV. We got to thank our fair and an empty Atomic Ass Mike G, Bob Ramt, Aldius Kaplo Matik, uh, Scott. Frostclaw. Haplo. Yeah, ha- I, su- I said Haplo already. Fox. I got the order wrong. <laughs> said Haplo already. You, look at your psychic you ass, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like I've been saying this for a couple weeks now, and I might have memorized parts of the couple list, weeks. but not all of it. <laughs> man, you <laughs> got some time compression going on. Uh, Colin Ryan, <laughs> uh, Lutris, Evandro, Kyle Michael, Lutris, yes. Thomas, Thomas, Gonzo2000, Oh, Linux New. Other Fucking Steve, Craig, the man. other Jordan, Simcha, Michelle, Dodger, OX4D, Jupiter comma, Techman, and our newest, Very Vigilant Viking, yeah. Gonzo 2000, oh, Iris 121, Captain Zero, Nemo, and the Vigilant Viking. Uh, we found Nemo, you guys. <laughs> okay. 
silence. Music's original alternative. Me. Roots grunge. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like I like uh, Star Trek 3's original title. Five dudes. <laughs>